Not now, Outlander. If you need some sort of assistance, go find one of the house guard. You must be one of the freelancers the Counselor employed to supplement the duties of the House Guard. Very well. I'll tell you what I know. Vea ran away. Again. I hope you can succeed when my troops have failed. If anything happens to Vea... I've known the Relith family since I was a child. Vea is like a sister to me, and I'll do everything in my power to get her home safe and sound. Even trust an Outlander. We think her friends may know where she is, but they keep eluding us. Perhaps. As long as you don't get too close. They've been running notes of late. I think it has something to do with Vea, but the runners keep evading my guards. Look for a group meeting on the other side of town, and see if you can follow the note. When you find Vea's friends, remember to keep your distance. You just want to spot the note carrier and follow him to whoever's receiving these messages. That's the key to locating Vea. If you can't do it, don't worry. The house can handle it. Vea's a born warrior. Hard-headed, stubborn, a real pain in the ass. She can fight like an angry netch, though. I keep trying to get her to join the militia, and she always turns me down. That's not my tale to tell. If Counselor Eris or his wife won't speak of the troubles his family has had to deal with in recent weeks, Maybe you can ask Vea, if and when you find her. We started to notice groups of young Dark Elves gathering in out-of-the-way parts of the city. One of my guards saw them pass a note between them, but they split up and she lost them in the back alleys. Could be a love poem or a recipe for Quama Cream Cocktail. But we suspect it's the way Vea has been keeping tabs on what's been happening in the city. Look, it may amount to nothing, but the note could give us a lead on where to find Vea. Do you make a habit of randomly accosting people while they fish? I don't see how that's any of your business. I've nothing to say to my father or those his Telvani master employs. Whatever this is about, it's no concern of mine. My father managed to leave me out of his life. He can leave me out of his problems, too. You want to talk? Be on your way. You look like a well-traveled individual. If you're looking to give your mount a well-deserved rest, you've come to the right place. We know how to pamper a loyal guar in Balmara. Oh, Mills. He was so young when Mother passed. I've tried to explain that Father had the work to keep a roof over our heads. Oh, yes. Father is well-regarded among the Telvani Masters, even though he's never aspired to be one himself. Master Drenim trusts him implicitly, and if you know anything about the Telvani, that's impressive on its own. They don't trust easily. I'm afraid I don't know. All he's been able to tell me is that part of his contract with Master Drenum forbids him from disclosing any of the Master's business, even to his own children. Whatever he's doing, I'm certain it's important. I wish he didn't have to work so much. Master Drenum pays well, but sometimes I worry he will work father to death. He's just so tired all the time. 
Even when he finds time away, Mills refuses to see him. And I know that hurts him dearly. I did for a bit, after Mother died. I didn't understand why Father couldn't be with us until I grew up and learned how hard it is to keep a family housed and fed. Now I appreciate all Father's sacrifices for us. I just wish Mills could see it. yourself a drink, and one for me. I demand to see my brother. Lay hands upon me, and you will lose them. You there! The territory of the Red Exiles shouldn't be traveled lightly. Ashlanders once respected each other, helped one another. You'd think these were house wolves or tribunal dogs, the way they treated me. Speaking of the tribunal, you have the smell of dog about you. I wonder why that is. Lord Vivek, is it? And I thought all the tribunal cared about was building monuments to their own greatness. Nice to see that one of them cares about what's going on beyond their borders. Well, perhaps we can aid each other this day, Outlander. Ashlanders are nomads, but we gather at sacred sites to trade, confer, and pay homage to the past. Aldrin is such a place. That's why Chodala invited the Red Exiles here. But these outcasts won't let me into their camp. I need to find my brother. 
My brother, Chodala, is the Ashkan of our tribe, and I am his ambassador. I act as a go-between among the tribes. Chodala wants to unite the Dunma, and calmly end the era of the bickering houses. He hopes to convince the tribes to follow his lead. Head into the Red Exiles camp and find my brother. Otherwise, see if you can find out what he was doing in there and where he's gone. Be wary of the outcasts. As you saw, they won't hesitate to attack without reason or provocation. No, just our tribe, the Urshilaku, though he's respected by most of the other Ashlanders for his wisdom and strength of will. He does hope to unite the tribes in a common cause, however. That's one of the reasons we've gathered here at Aldrin. My brother and I have always worked to help our people, and improve the Ashlander way of life. He used to believe that peaceful negotiation was the best path to accomplish this. Recently, however, things have become different. He's almost like... No, that's not something I'm ready to talk about with an outsider. Perhaps after you prove your trustworthiness and willingness to help us, then we can discuss my brother in more detail. Perhaps. That's not our goal, but the tribes will defend themselves if necessary. No, we hope to present a united front and show the houses the folly of the path they've embarked upon. Turning away from our forefathers and god ancestors has made them weak. The Red Exiles, they're violent, dangerous Sashlanders who were banished from their tribes and joined together to create their own clan. Chodala invited them to the gathering and went into the camp to talk, but he's been gone too long. I'm worried. As you saw, hostility is second nature to the Red Exiles. We're here to negotiate, but they're no better than thieves and murderers. If they spot you in their camp, you'll need to defend yourself. It's unfortunate, but they'll leave you no choice.
You seem to have survived your visit to the Red Exiles camp. Did you find my brother? Interesting. I never suspected that the outcasts were disciplined enough to keep records such as this. Oh no. I can't believe my brother would be so... brazen. It means that Chodala really has changed. With his newfound powers and rising ambitions, I fear what he plans for the tribes. I suppose you have a right to know what I'm talking about. Take this. I found it among my brother's possessions. Chodala discovered new power out in the wilderness, and it changed his view of the world. He writes about it in that document. Now he believes he's a Nerevarine, and incites the tribes while I tried to keep them all from doing anything rash. You don't know? I thought... No, you're not an Ashlander, and the House Elves rarely talk about such things. Long ago, there was a hero named Nerevar. He fought alongside the Tribunal, before they claimed to be gods, until they betrayed him. The Nerevarine is a promise and a prophecy. We believe that, through the power of Azura, Nerevar will return to unite all Dunma, House and Ashlander alike, and make Morrowind great again. The returned Nerevar will be known as the Nerevarine. While the prophecy of the Nerevarine can be interpreted as the end of the Tribunal, I have always seen it as a prediction of hope and peace. Chodala and some Ashlanders, such as the Red Exiles, favor war. That's not the Nerevarine I believe in. He uses an Ashkhan's words to plant dark ideas in his followers. Ideas that speak of false gods, lost traditions, and the need for a cleansing war. His words become more forceful every day, but I hope to dissuade him from this violent course. All I know is that his new power frightens me. Chodala returned from a sojourn in the wilderness, more vibrant, more commanding. He's always been strong, but now he's fearless, practically invincible, and swifter than the fastest Ashlander scout. Chodala says his new abilities strengthen his claim as the Nerevering. I think it's the staff he carries. He had it when he returned, and now it's always at his side. I know it's unreasonable, but I hate that staff. He calls it Sunara. the one I see. We're just about ready to set sail. I don't know about you, but the moonlit is looking a little too close for comfort these days. We're headed to Sadrath Mora, if that's where you'd like to go. Just decide quick. I want to sail. I'm glad that this town sprung up around Tel Naga. It allows me to study some interesting things. Mind your step. I would not want you to step on this random patch of grass. 
I jest, of course. The Telvanni force me to work, but I make sure it brings them no pleasure. I see you wear no shackles. Do you seek work? I know someone who needs help. In truth, you would be helping many Saxlil, myself included. During my latest escape attempt, I met an amber beauty with eyes like summer rain. Her luchial name is Sun in Shadow, but I call her my heart. She hatches a plan to set us free. Seek her out in Tel Naga. If I know my heart, she will be sunning herself in the light of some book. Always reading that one, always learning. If all goes to plan, she will read her books beside me in the bows of a hist. Soon, I hope. Walk with Sithis, my friend, and mind the Telvanni. They spin lies like an elder at the yarn wheel. I ventured too far from the hist and did not heed the bird signs. Dark elf slavers spine hooked me near Thorn. I escaped four times, but never for long. Eventually the Telvanni bought me, at a discount I am told. I take pride in that at least. Laws are slippery things. The Ebonheart Pact outlawed Argonian slavery, but House Telvanni refused to join the pact. In truth, I cannot imagine how they would live without slaves. The Magisters are like overstuffed crocodiles. Dangerous, but lazy. I thank you for your offer, but I tire of breaking free only to be recaptured a day later. Sun in Shadow's plan will earn us a lasting freedom. If you help her, you help me. Mages, mostly. Members of the so-called Great House Telvanni. One of the four great houses of the Dark Elves. They love using that word, great. Great at ruining lives, perhaps. Yes, and Khajiit also. You see, for a Telvanni, life is nothing but a cheap struggle for mastery and control. Mastery of their dry-skinned magics, control of their mushroom towers, and dominion over people. People. I ventured too far from the hist, Love, how cruel the fates that keep me from my heart's desire and force me to lock away my true feelings. Chains bind my heart, yet it yearns to be. Oh, what does an outlander know about the... Of course, tell her you...
Yes. Can I help you, Sonia? Bless his eyes. Yes, I'm Sun in Shadow. Ioki told you I have a plan to earn our freedom, right? It will require finesse and discretion. I trust that I can count on you for both. To earn my freedom, I need the help of Magister Therana. She's a recently elevated Telwani Magister. Not so set in her ways as the others, and probably more likely to remember her early struggles. I know she wants something from Zane Terraris. I need to find out what it is, then get it for her. I'm afraid not. I traded in some favors to get a better idea of what she's seeking, but I learned very little. Apparently her mouth, Erevin Ontham, has some correspondence that might give us a clue. I need that letter. Oh, yes. House Telvani has its warts, but it's a true meritocracy. With enough guile and cunning, even a lowly slave can sit on the council. I've studied spellcrafts and before I could lift a broom. All I need now is the sponsorship of a magister. The Rana's been haranguing the council, trying to get their help in claiming Zane to Raras from House Redrin. She wants something in that shrine. I aim to get it for her. Her mouth, Erevan Anthem, has a letter that contains the clues we need. Be cautious in the council house, Sarah. House Tilvani is not just some beast you can slay. In this place, subtlety will serve you better than any shield. We have to play the game. Truthfully, it doesn't. Not yet. Telvani plots take time to develop. If I demand the Oki's freedom too early, I show my hand. Suddenly, he's a valuable piece in the game, moved and sacrificed as the Magister see fit. Do I sense a rebuke? It's not ideal, I know. Look, I treasure Ioki. He's placed his trust in me. I hope you'll do the same. Ah. It was during one of his many escape attempts. I was cleaning Master Otheri's tableware when Ioki burst through the kitchen door, dragging his chains behind him. He threw open the window and started to climb through it. Then he saw me. He hesitated, even smiled. You don't see Mars slaves smile much. Certainly not when they're being chased by Nyx hounds. They dragged him off and threw him in the dry box. He told me he'd spend a year in there if it meant seeing me again. There's an old alchemist proverb. No reaction is ever so forceful as the mixing of opposing components. A mouthful, I know, but it fits. Ioki and I occupy different poles on the same spear. He keeps me grounded. I keep him safe. Truthfully, Lazy vermin. If you want to eat this week, work. Yes, mistress. Well, get to it. Now! Yes, mistress. Sorry, mistress. Pardon the mess. My slaves require another lesson concerning their work ethic. And their no good overseer as well. I suppose I'll have to wield the lash myself today. Have my friends been gossiping about her again? You'd think there were no better topics of conversation. Yes, Tyrwin is my slave. 
She's no unshed Nyx hound, but she's still a capable harvester. What do you want to know about her? Well, I need someone who can do that too, and I already have Tyrwen. Seems like you're out of luck. Baseless slander! Though I do tire of these ugly rumors surrounding my son. Three red star shells. That's the smallest offer I'll entertain. A bargain. Telvani wizards don't offer their influence and power for something as pedestrian as gold. Three shells should barely cover the gap while I find another harvester. If that's too steep a price, I suppose we're fit. Where are you? What I'd give for just a glimpse. Well, did you speak to my mother? What did she say? Knowing her, it's something incredibly unreasonable. Three? Three? That's as many as Terwin manages to find in a month. And she's perfect. No, 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 no. If mother found out, she'd never let Terwin go free. Not for any price. It's an unreasonable sum. But the fact that she asked for red star shells might work in our favor. I've been training a Nyx hound to help Terwin so she can spend more time with me instead of in that vile swamp. Aside from the fetch a fly incident, Nixie's got a solid track record. I'm certain she won't let us down. She's around here somewhere. Nyx hounds vanish when they're afraid, and Nixie's a bit skittish. She'll head off toward the water after I call her. Look around the shorelines, and you'll probably find her digging up shells. Just go where she points. Come on, Nixie, show yourself! There you are. Nixie, go find star shells. Show this nice person where they are. What are you doing? Stop! Who are you? These are given lands, you know. Take any star shells from this speech and you'll have them to reckon with. He sent you here. To what? Spy on me? To find that can't even find privacy out in this forsaken muck. Because this is the one place I'm permitted to go that he's too afraid to follow. 
Out here, I don't have to endure his constant fawning or pretend not to see him watching me out of the corner of my eye. Love! I'm a slave and he's my master. Or as close as makes no difference. I wouldn't so much a smile in his direction if it didn't spare me the rod. Tell me why he has you gathering red star shells. What's he up to now? Gods, no. Fear of his mother's wrath is the only reason I can keep him at arm's length. If he's getting this bold, I have to get out of here. What Lonus wants for me isn't freedom. You really want to free me. Help me get away from these people. Faris keeps my servitude obligation hidden in a house. Steal it for me. I can forge a signature. It won't be perfect, but it should hold up well enough to get me out of Tavani lands. I don't want to be bought. I want to be free. After all Faris and Lonus have taken from me, I don't want them to profit from my release. At least let me cost them. either, but what you did actually is illegal.
wherever you came from, I suggest you go back. Guards on their way. Best get out before they clear you out. Do I have to summon a guard? This is your last chance to leave before the guard arrives.
see you're leaving the estate. You decided not to help me, didn't you? I knew I shouldn't have gone. You really did it. You... What's the catch? What do you expect for this? I... I don't know what to say. I was resigned to my fate before you showed up. Hardly seems real. Maybe it isn't. Not until I'm staring at the shores of the Somerset Isles. I'll need it. You didn't ask for anything. But I want you to have this. Just the gold I managed to hide away over the years. Minus what I'll need for passage. Not payment, a gift. For a friend. Goodbye. And thank you. So much. Hey! Get away from her! You will ruin everything! Shut up, you slavering jackal! You see this? I'm free! Tywin, I... I was supposed to free you. I was going to take your hand in marriage. It was going to be perfect. You ruined it! Listen to me, you little swit. I'm not your plaything, never was and never will be. I'd sooner lie with the maggots than share your bed. That can be arranged! When I tell Mother about this, you'll wish you'd never spurned me! You'll beg! You will beg! <sighs> that was liberating. Don't worry, I know these lands better than they ever will. Thanks again. Fetcher! I dare you. Just give me an excuse and I'll bash your ugly teeth into the back of your head. Please, just obey the law from now on. Full of trees, 
My eyes look red to you. Is this on straight? Hello there. When you find V as friends, remember to keep your distance. You just want to spot the note carrier and follow him to whoever's receiving these messages. That's the key to locating Veya. If you can't do it, don't worry. The house can handle it. Get this letter to Drevis. It's important. Just don't let House Redoran get their hands on it. If you 
think you're being followed, find a place to hide. Good luck. Stay away from me, I'm warning you! What do you want?
What is it? I saw you head across the bridge. Drevis. Letter to Drevis. It's important. Just don't let House Wedderin get their hands on it. If you think you're being followed, find a place to hide. Good luck. I could use a break. from me I'm warning you Well done. This should help us determine what happened to Vare's brother. You look thirsty. Find a seed knob. Hello, can I help you? Wait a moment. You're one of those hirelings House Redoran pays to harass us simple folk. Look, all Vea wants to do is to find out what happened to her brother. Too bad the house doesn't seem to care a sweat about any of that. Vea wants nothing to do with the house or her father. Why can't any of you respect that? Even if I wanted to help, I haven't seen Vea since she snuck out of town. We communicate by notes, and this one isn't even about her. Well, if you must know, it concerns Vea's brother. He was an officer in the house guard before he vanished without a trace. We've been trying to help Vea find him. A local tough goes by the name of Ashur. He delivers the letters. We usually meet him outside of town to the northeast. But good luck trying to get any information out of him. I think we're done here, don't you? I told you where to find Ashur. He's been passing our notes on to Vea. Just to the north and east, outside of town. Or is this your way of offering to save me a trip since you're headed his way? Palmer is not that big. Most of the sons and daughters of the house leaders and prominent merchants know each other. They is one of us, and we'll do whatever it takes to help her find her brother. Well, within reason. And Vea would do the same for us. That's why we're helping her. 
She really is a terrific person. I'm not telling you anything, you reverend lapdog. I think we're done here, don't you? I told you where to find our sure. He's been passing our notes on. You think I'm just going to tell you all our secrets, Outlander? Oh, that's not going to happen. I won't betray Vea. I think we're done here, don't you? I told you where to find our... I'm not telling you anything, you reverend. Balmer... Well, within reason. You think I'm just going to tell you all our... I think we're done here, don't you? I told you where to find... I'm not telling you anything. I think we're done here, don't you? You think I'm just going to tell you all our... I think we're done here, don't you? Well? Halt!
light it up.
You. I don't recognize you. You've made a terrible mistake in coming here. Do you feel it yet? The cold rush through your veins. The stiffness in your joints. Only a matter of time now. <laughs> you really haven't figured it out. You're denser than those stone fiends. Master Reethan brought me on to study a daydream. Oh, something like that. But what does it... I guess I could... None. I didn't... Oh, why? None. I guess I could squander my... Now, all that's left to do is wait. 